Let's preface this segment by saying, I am not a welder. <laughs> Welcome back. Yes, I had to shave the beard off. I didn't have to. I'm doing some work stuff uh, at my job, my day job, and um, I need to not look like um, amia amiable homeless person or really weak Santa Claus. So anyway, I cut it off so I could be public ready. That'll work. Okay, uh, we're back in the shop again today. It's a Saturday. We're going to get this C-pillar piece welded up today. That is the plan. So I thought about it. I watched some videos about how to weld upside down. All of them were structural. So like trying to weld quarter inch stuff, which you have plenty of time if you know, do your zigzag. <laughs> you can't do that with sheet metal. You gotta get it done. And so the only tip I got out of there and the only one I'll probably use is turn up my heat and turn up my wire speed. I'm definitely gonna attempt that. So, that's where we're gonna go. Also, I devised the trapeze of stupidity. Dun, dun, dun. Yeah, so I'm using one of the Land Rover bottle jacks I have, and I've got a pipe, and it's holding my piece in place with, with some pressure, mind you. So, anyway. Okay, so I don't have to worry about the piece of steel moving. I just have to worry about getting it welded. So I don't have to hold it. I can do a lot more uh, with two hands and my weak, crummy, crap body and attempt to uh, get squirreled up underneath this whole thing and weld upside down. So that's what we're gonna do. Probably not gonna weld on camera today because I want to cuss and there's going to be stuff. If I start becoming successful, I might turn the camera on and let you see it. Anyway, when I come back, you'll either get to see it or won't. Blah. All right. Uh, okay. I'm going to turn the camera off and start being stupid. <laughs> I'm not proud of this. This is not awesome. I'm, uh, this was hard. That's all there is to it. This was hard. All right. There's the welds. That plate did not want to get up in there. <sighs> Backside looks like that. I don't know. So this is, this is it. That's all I'm going to be able to do. Um, I'm going to uh, grind those spots down so they're moderately flat. And then um, it's going to cool down. And then I'm going to liberally apply seam sealer like putty, like work it into the holes and just pray to heaven that when I spray over the top of all that with paint and then underbody sealant, um, rhino liner, whatever you guys call it, stone chip stuff, that it will seal. I have no fantasy that that's watertight ever or that it will be okie dokie long term, but I just need, I mean, It'll be fine, I think. I think it'll be okay. Yeah, that's, that's what I believe. I was able to spray, I don't know if you can see it because I don't have light in here. I was able to spray paint sealant down in the, down in there. Oh, it's not even close. Okay, so I've got to spray, let's get that behind there. So I've got to get that sprayed in there and I will get some, I will get some, uh, I will get some primer in there for sure. Um, and at least all the metal pits in there will be covered. That's the goal. That's what we can hope for. All right, let's uh, get the grinder going. Let's do some other stuff. All right. I can also promise you I am testing my core. Oh. This is a lot of body back, bend up, hold up your chest, scrunch your belly to get in positions where I can do this. All right, let's get the grinder and a shield on our freaking balls, eyeballs, so we will go blind. And let's grind. Gloves.
Safety second. Darker, my lamp fell. Yeah, okay. Yeah, that looks terrible. <laughs> oh wait, I can't see it because I blocked it. <coughs> Sorry, cough is still with me from COVID. Thank you, CCP. All right, let's, all right. Ah. Now, a little bit more grinding on that one spot, and then we'll call it good. Ow! Hot sparks flying back at me! Ah! All right. Um. Yeah. All right then. Okay, let's go put some gloves on and do some seam sealer stuff. Can's almost empty. Where's my rag? Okay. Should have put on my shop glasses today. I got my good glasses on. That was not smart. All right, dry, dry. Oh, let's go turn off our. Gotta mute our TV. Lose your damn mind today. Broadcast something that's not allowed. All right. Oh. Okay, we waited and let it dry a little bit, and now we're going to tease it with some seam sealer and squish some on there in lots of places. Come on, hands. Come on, hands. Are we empty? No, shouldn't be. Oh, there it goes. Ooh. Ooh, there it goes. It's probably more than needed. All right, let's see if we can work it into place. I realize how futile this is, by the way, but it's what it is. That's what we're going with. And then stone seal will be, or stip, chip stuff, whatever, bed liner, will go over the top of all of this. And we'll call that a fix.
That's what we'll do. I'm going to put some on this one too. Because I do have a couple of little loose ends that I'm certain will be a nightmare for me later. takes a seal or to uh, dry. I wonder. Oh man, get out of my shoes. I wonder how long that will take. Okay, that's already starting to set up. I'm kind of surprised, but it is. Um, so I'll put it over all the weld patches in this went ahead and did that one and that one down there too all right next step will be a uh, primer over the top of that later today we are in painting range with it being 60 outside and actually a moderately decent day today birds are singing it's kind of nice out here i don't know where my dogs are Probably in the house. My son came home, so from a house showing, so he's probably So they probably went in there to see what he's doing. Uh, okay, so drying and then primer and then uh, Stone seal. That's what I said. I've said it 14 times. So you better believe it. All right I'll talk to you in a few minutes after I get back from watching this paint dry <laughs> Paint drying <laughs> Watching paint dry. What a smart guy Okay, oh. Can't fight at the OK Corral, 1950, whatever, something was on the TV. Anyway, okay. Uh, so I got um, more of this done. I cleaned up this back a little bit more. I gave everything kind of a coat. I put some seam sealer in the uh, D pillar where I had made that patch. Covered it with some primer. Cleaned up this back area here. Got it primered again too. Get something on it. It did have rust on it. Um, so I did want to remove it. Then this bottom part of this door, which I believe is steel and aluminum mixed together. So there's some corrosion action going on here. So I cleaned that up and spray painted that with primer as well. Went all the way underneath. We're gonna have to call that good, I think. All right, so we've got this dry and we're going to spray bed liner on it. I put some paper down to cover some stuff just so there's no overspray everywhere. Not that it would matter, but I definitely don't want it down here on the brake drum, uh, brake discs, excuse me, because those are a nightmare anyway, and those probably will have to be taken all off and um, turned because they're rusty and pitted. Uh, so that's gonna be fun. So yeah, super awesome. All right, I'm gonna do some painting. I need to put the respirator back on and um, get some gloves on. That's some powerful stuff. Whew. Come out here to breathe, cause that is pungent 
normally I would just spray, 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 spray. For some weird reason I've gotten a better habit of using the respirator when I need to or mask or filter, or whatever you want to call it, it's not a respirator, it's not breathing for me or anything like that. So yeah, get it out of here. <coughs> okay, I think that's it. That's it for today's video. I will put one more coat on there when it's good and dry. Um, let's get back in here and let's breathe it for a few minutes more while we finish up the video. I will put one more coat on that uh, and that will be the end of that. Uh, that is gonna be ready then to be buttoned up, I'm pretty sure. So let's see, the underneath is done, top's done. So yeah, I'll be putting um, some seam sealer across here and then um, mounting back my rear quarter panel and this piece will be done. Next up, B-pillar. Pretty certain this will be the next big job. So we're gonna come in here and coming soon, we'll be cutting this out and getting this piece off um, I do have an air chisel now whoop, whoop, and an air compressor that can handle it. So we will hopefully be able just to cut the piece that I don't want, clean this up, get it cleaned up on the bottom because you know how that was. That's very bad, but we'll get that. Where am I at the camera? Sorry. Uh, we'll get it sorted down. That's next. Thanks so much for tuning in. Appreciate it very much. Like and subscribe as always. And if you have any comments, think there's something I can do better, or just want to tell me I'm doing a great job, cool too. Uh, send me a text or send me a, a message on my deal. I appreciate it very much. Have a good weekend. Do, 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 do.